Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crochet's Creed, and today we will be making the Umbrella Corporation logo for Resident Evil, and we're going to turn it into a pillow. And <laughs> since I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil franchise, I'd like to share this project with you. So you will need a 5mm hook for the triangles, a 6mm hook. A yarn needle, yarn, scissors, or just regular scissors, <laughs> red yarn, I know we've been using a lot of red yarn, white yarn, and a little black yarn. And you will also need a lot of pillow stuffing, and I'm gonna, only going to show you a little bit because I have a big bag sitting next to me <clears throat> so let's get started okay so what you're gonna do <clears throat> excuse me is you're going to take your red yarn and you are going to make a slip knot and you're going to take your five millimeter hook and you are going to chain 14 so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And for <clears throat> excuse me, for row one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two decreases. So if you don't remember how to do a decrease, you go into the next stitch and you pull up. You go into the stitch, you yarn, wrap around, and you have two loops on your hook. You're going to go into the next stitch, wrap around, and you have three loops on your look, hook going to wrap around and pull through all three of them. So you're going to do two decreases. So you're going to go into the next stitch, wrap around, keep that stitch on your hook, go into the next stitch, go in, wrap around. Now you have three stitches on your hook, and then you're going to go in and wrap, pull through three. Now, after you do your two decreases, you are going to single crochet down the remainder of the chain. Now, before you get to the end of the chain, what you're going to do is you're going to do two decreases at the end of the chain. So let's see, that would be two, that would be two. So you go into the next stitch and you're going to leave four stitches open to do your two decreases at the end. So you're going to go in, wrap around, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, wrap around, pull up a loop, pull through three, and go into the last two, pull up a loop, go into the last one, pull up a loop and pull through all three of them. And that is row one. Now for row two, you're going to chain one and turn. And rows two through ten, you're going to single crochet in every stitch. So you're gonna single crochet along the chain, chain one turn, and do that for rows two through ten. Okay. So after you <clears throat> are finished with rows two through ten, this is what it's gonna look like. And for row eleven, what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn 
for row 11, you're going to do a decrease again. But you're only going to do one decrease. So, we're going to go into the next stitch. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through three. And you are going to single crochet down the remainder of the stitch. Alright, now after you finish row 11, you're going to chain one, and for rows 12 through 16, <clears throat> excuse me, you are going to put a single crochet in every stitch across. So, 12 through 16, single crochet in every stitch, and I'll meet you back when you're done. So after you've done row 16, for row 17, you're going to chain 1, and you are going to decrease in the first stitch, then you're going to single crochet across the top, and single crochet, I mean decrease in the last stitch. So a decrease in the first stitch, and the last stitch. I'm going to show you. So you go in to the next stitch, do a decrease, you're going to single crochet across the top, I'm going to go into the next stitch, single crochet in the last two stitches, this one's kind of frumpy, I'm just going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, into the last stitch that's kind of frumpy looking. And go through three. As you can see, it's going to kind of start. It's going to kind of start building a triangular shape, like the um, triangles in the um, umbrella logo. So for row eighteen. <clears throat> you are going to single crochet in every stitch across. So since it's not that much, I'm going to show you. So, go into every stitch, single crochet, oh. chain one. See, it's getting tighter and tighter because it's supposed to be a tiny triangle. And don't worry if it's not as much in a triangle shape as you would like. You're going to put a border around it, and it should add um, to the shape of it. So for row 19, you're going to do a decrease in the first stitch, and a decrease in the last stitch, again. So... I'm going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, decrease. I'm going to go into the next stitch, do a single crochet, and since there are only two loops, only two loops left on your hook, you're going to do a decrease. See how it's starting to come at the top, so I'm going to chain one, and for row 20, you're going to single crochet in every stitch. Not that stitch, not the stitch underneath the chain one, you're going to go into the next one, and single crochet in every stitch, go into the last stitch, the last stitch is always going to be a bit Grumpy feeling. Chain one. And for row 21, what you're going to do is you're going to do a decrease. And the next stitch, which takes up two stitches. So do a decrease. And in the very last stitch, you are going to do a single crochet. And as you can see, it's starting to get tinier and tinier. You're going to chain one, 
and the only thing that's left to do is a decrease. So I'm going to go into the next stitch. Make sure you can see, not the stitch under it, the next stitch here. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, there's two stitches on your loop, and the last chain there, go into that one, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is sort of your, your triangle there. So what you're going to do is, you're going to chain t chain one, and yarn off, cut your yarn, you're going to keep that like that, and you're going to add your black yarn, add your black yarn, to it, and you are going to single crochet around the entire border. Get to the corners, you're going to put, when you get to the corners at the end, you're going to put two single crochet into the border. Okay, so after you're done, this is what it's going to look like. And for this project, which what after you're going to leave a rather long tail so you can sew in sew it in and you're going to make four of these for this side of the pillow because you're going to need to make eight of them for both sides and this is what it's going to look like in the end you're going to have to make four for this side but you're going to have to make eight for the entire pattern. So you're going to have to make eight of these, and I'll show you how to make the white part. And you're also going to have to make um, eight of the white triangles, and they're all individual. And you're going to have to sew them all together at the end. So I'm going to show you how to make the white part. Okay. So, for the white triangles, you're going to make a slip knot. Take your five millimeter hook. And you're gonna chain twenty-four. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Four more. And one, two, three, and 24. All right. <clears throat> so, for row one, you're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch across. But to make it line up a bit, you're going to go into the third stitch. So the first one's on your hook, second one, first one's on your hook, the second one's there, go into the third stitch, single crochet, and after that you're going to single crochet and every stitch across. Okay, so after you finish Round one. For round two, you're going to chain one. And you are... <coughs> excuse me. You are going to do two decreases at the beginning and two decreases at the very end. So, go into the next stitch. Don't go into the stitch under your hook. I know it's hard to see. Don't go into the stitch don't go into this stitch, go into the next one, this one. So yarn over, pull up a loop, 
Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through three. That's one decrease, you have to do two. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up one loop, leave it on your hook. Now you have two. Go into the next stitch, yarn over. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. Now you're going to single crochet across the row and leave four stitches open at the very ending so you can do your two decreases at the end. Okay, so after you get to the end, that's one, two, three, four, you're going to go and do one decrease, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, now you have three there. I'm going to go into the last two stitches. Don't mind this little stitch here. That's our chain one. Yarn over. Pull up one. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over. Oh, going through both stitches. And that is round two. Now rows chain one. Now rows three through five. You are going to do one single crochet and every stitch across. And a tiny little tip, when you get to the end, this is the end of round three, when you get to the end, do not go into that tiny little stitch here. Just chain one, turn, and keep going. So round four, And you'll be making eight of these and joining them all together. So it's important that they're the same, all the same size, or it's not going to come together like you want it to. So we're almost to the end. Few stitches. This is row four. And that one last stitch there. And row five. Single crochet. And every stitch across. And don't worry about the. Well, we're going to put a border on it to make it a bit triangular. It's always hard trying to do a triangle, especially in crocheting. But row five, single crochet all the way across. Now for row six, you are going to do a decrease at the beginning, at the first, in the first stitch, and the last stitch. So go into the next stitch, do a decrease single crochet all the way across, leave two stitches open at the end of the row to put your last decrease in. So single crochet across and the last stitch, do a decrease. Now as you can see it's going to starting to go up a little bit. That's not a full triangle, but it's going to start to point up a bit. So for rows 7 through 10, you're going to do a single crochet in every stitch across. Now if you want to make it a bit pointier, you can always not go into the last stitch. And the last stitch is always going to have a bit of, it's always going to look a bit frumpy here. But if you want it to line up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, do not go into the last stitch. It'll have a ribbed look to it, but it'll make it, um, make the shape of it a bit better. And don't worry if it comes out a bit, um, odd looking. I'm going to put a border on it, which should make it tighter and make the shape um, look a bit better. 
But you can always go into the second stitch and leave that last stitch open if you want. That's row seven. And it kind of has that triangle starting to bow upward a bit. Yeah, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you want to just keep going across the way it is, that's fine. But you don't have to go into the last stitch if you want it to have a a bit more of a triangular shape to it. Okay. So after you've done your rows seven through ten, for row eleven you're going to do a decrease in the first stitch and the last stitch. And in this you will have to go into the last stitch. I wasn't going into the last stitches and you can see it has it gave it a better um, bowing upward look. But in this you will have to go into the last stitch. Well the last two stitches. But in the first stitch you do a decrease. Do a decrease. Oh. Do a decrease. Come on. Single crochet across. And now the last two stitches, pull up a loop, go into the last stitch, pull up a loop, run over, pull through three, and it's sort of going to have a, yeah. So, rows 12 through 16, you're going to put one single crochet in every stitch, leaving the last stitch undone. Like you have been doing. Or it's your option. You can go into the last stitch if you want to. It's all how you want it to look. But if you want it to have a more triangular look, then go into the last. Do not go into the last stitch. Either way, it comes out the same. Looking a bit. Just not as triangular. But to make it easier to do the border when it's little ridges I can go into. So that was row 12. I didn't go into the last stitch. So 12 through 16, single crochet in every stitch. Now at the end of row 16, you are going to go into the last stitch. So do go into the last stitch for row 16. Row 17, you are going to do two decreases. So go into the next stitch, two decreases. Oh, wait, it's a little wonky here. Come on. Oh, that's terrible. Two decreases. That's one. And that's two, and in the very last stitch, you are going to do one single crochet. Train two. Start and get. So for row 18, you're just going to single crochet in every stitch. It's not going to take that long. It's only three of them. One, two, go into the last stitch. And three. Do a decrease. That's one. And two. Row 19. Go into the last stitch. Do a single crochet. That's row 19. It's rather quickly. 19. Row 20. Go into. Do a single crochet in the last two stitches. Chain one. You can't really tell. Row 21. Just do a decrease. And 
that is your triangle. Now, that is your triangle. I'm going to pull it out a bit. Looks a bit odd to me. So I'm going to add my border. Now the border is um very important. So you're going to leave a tail so you can sew in your ends. Leave that there. You're going to take your black yarn. You're going to attach your black yarn. Make sure you leave a tail there so you can sew that in. Attach Let's do a chain one to make that easier. Attach your black yarn. One. Let's try this again. Attach your black yarn. There we go. Pull your white yarn down, black yarn there. Tuck it behind and do a single crochet around the entire border. See with the ridges it's easy to go into go into something. It's easy to put the border in. Now at the points here two points at the ending, you're going to put two single crochet into the end, and I'll show you when I come around. So, single crochet around the border, two single crochet at each point. Now, as I said, when you get to the corners, this stitch right about here, you're going to go in and do two single crochet to the same stitch. Just make it bot a little bit. Go across and do two single crochet in the stitch there and back around. Okay. After you're done, this is what it should look like. And you are going to make eight of these and eight of the reds for both sides. So, it's four here, four here. You're gonna make four, four for each side. So in total, you're gonna make eight. And I'll see you back when we join them both all together. Okay. So after you are done with all of your sides, I have four here, four here. Since there are a few um, ends, what you're going to do is the back part of the triangles, not the front part, because the front part looks much nicer than the back part. In the back part, what you're going to do, since it's a pillow, nobody's going to see the inside of it. But, um, sew in your ends along the black part, along the, um, black, white part, along the white, or you can just do it down. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. But, um, go through and sew in your ends, and then I'll show you how to put it all together. All right. Alrighty then. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your. Whoops, I fell over here. You are going to take your yarn needle, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a long tail, and throughout sewing in these parts, you will probably have to um, cut off and add your yarn again. But I'm going to show you what, how you're supposed to place them. We'll show you how they're placed first. But you're not going to have to um, sew them in like I'm placing them. 
And in the middle is going to be a tiny circle that, um, I hope you can see that. It's going to be a tiny circle in the middle. So as you can see here with mine, it's a tiny circle that I had to crochet into it. So it's going to be a circle. Don't worry about that because we'll fill it in. But you're going to put your things. And don't worry if they don't come out exactly the same after like the eighth, the fifth one. Jeez. Yeah, the fifth one, it gets a bit harder. But it's all going to turn out the same. So it's going to have a little circle in the middle. What I want you to do is pick pick a red and a white one. And I want you to get your yarn. Lost my thing, hold on. Alright. So you're gonna take your two sides and put them up together. And I find it easier to fold them together like this so that they're beside one another. All you're gonna do is, now it would be easier if you left a long tail on one of them to sew it around, but I'm just gonna add mine in. And so what I'm gonna do, this may be a bit odd, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this two stitches and you're gonna have to line them up a stitch stitch there and stitch here and it's sort of at the bottom of the the bottom of the two I'm gonna go in I'm gonna pull this through and I'm not gonna pull through well I'm not gonna pull through all the way I have a long tail here cut this gonna fit to my yarn I have a long tail here. You're going to need a long tail for this. And I'm not going to pull it in all the way. And make sure you hold this because if you don't, in the beginning it's going to pull out. So I'm going to go into the next stitch on the other side of this. I'm going to go into the next stitch here. And the stitch about here. And I'm going to pull through. Make sure you hold that yarn so it won't pull out. Then go into the next stitch and it's going to line up the next stitch there. Go in. After a while you won't have to hold it because it'll tighten up by itself. And leave a um a longer one. I should have left a longer one but leave a longer one so you can sew that in as well. But you're going to go down the line, just going in each stitch and sewing it together. And you're going to sew up until you get to the end portion, about right here, the end portion, not at the very top, but at the, at the peak. So I'm going to show you a bit more and then I'll leave you to it. So go into the next stitch, the top stitches. Pull it through. Oops. Go into the next stitch. Make sure they're lined up. Go into the next stitch. Oh. Pull through. And you're going to do this across the in, the entire thing until you get to its peak. And I'll show you how to finish when I'm done. Okay, now after you get to the end, I'm almost at my peak, well I am actually. I'm going to go in, the last stitches, go in, pull it up. And almost at his peak, and we're going to go through top stitch again. 
and I'm going to fold it out because it's together now. I'm going to fold it out and show you what it looks like. We're at its peak now and I'm going to go a bit higher, almost at the point here. Go at the point. And after that, let's see how it, yes. So leave that how it is and I'm going to open it up. And that's what it's going to look like. And what makes it awesome is that it's black, so you won't be able to see the stitches. So what we're going to do is if you have if you have enough yarn, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to sew through and add on my next white part. So if you have enough yarn, if you have enough yarn on your needle to keep going, then keep going so but if you don't leave as much of the tail as you can leave it there tie a knot and you can come back in and sew it in the back part but if you still have enough yarn and I think I, I think I have enough you're just gonna go in and since let me see <laughs> you, didn't, you couldn't see it there and since I'm at the top I'm just going to stitch around until I get back to this part so fold it in just go in just go into the stitches around it I'm gonna make sure you see it properly well, now keep going in in the stitches Pull through, keep going in, go around it so you can get back to this. I think that's enough, let me see, one more down here. Yeah, that's enough. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to add another, um, white triangle to this. So I'm going to get one of my triangles. Get one of my triangles and make sure they match up. Sides match up properly. Oh, wait, do I have a backwards Hold on. Yes, I do. Okay. Make sure they line up. They're not always going to line up because one's bigger than the other. Make sure they're pretty good amount where you can get almost every stitch in. And you are going to start back down the row again, sewing in your things. I'm going to show you. So this is... I'm going to put them together like this to make it easier instead of having them trying to be like that it's, it'll be a bit too complicated so press them together try to line them up as much as you can I'm gonna take my yarn and since I'm already in this stitch hope you can see it I'm in this stitch I'm gonna go back in the stitch and go through, go back in the stitch, and go through the stitch on the white triangle. And I'm going to pull through. Oops. I'm going to pull through. I'm going to pull through. And now it's sort of connected. And now you're going to go down the chain again. If you can see, go in on that side come out through the red and start stitching all the way down at the end you can go go all the way to the end but I'll still show you but go all the way to the end at the very ending of this and I'll meet you back when you're done alrighty then so after you're done and you've gotten to your end I'm going to do one more stitch 
see these last two, you have the stitch here. Wait, let me make sure I go into both of them. This last stitch here, and this stitch here. I'm gonna go in. Yeah. I'm gonna go in. And pull through. And this is what it's going to start to look like. It's gonna start to spread out. Now you're gonna continue doing this. And when you get to the end, if you want to, oh, it's, it's a few options that you can do. When you get to the end, the bottom portion, not the top portion, but the bottom portion of the um, stitches, when you get to the bottom, you can either have a long tail, leave a long tail, and tie a, tie a knot, and start at the top on the next portion of the front, or if you have enough yarn, only if you have enough yarn, because I'm running out of it, if you have enough yarn, stitch your way across the next um, triangle, doesn't matter which one you have, the red or the white, stitch across the bottom of the triangle until you get back, you get to the other side, and add on your next triangle or you can just yarn off leave a long tail so you can sew it into the back because nobody's going to see the back and um add more yarn to the other part and you're going to continue to do that until all of the triangles are attached i'm going to still going to show you you can skip ahead if you want but I'm still going to show you to make it easier because I know it's easier to see it than to, for me to just tell you. So I'm going to add on my next side here. And I'm going to cut my yarn because I'm not, I don't have that much here. I'm going to tie it a bit, make sure the knot can't be seen. Tie it. There, tie it, and I'm going to start at the top of this again. I'm going to take one of my red pieces, put it together, and then get the rest of my yarn. I'm going to add on to it. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to add on my, <clears throat> excuse me, my red piece. Now I'm going to start from the front again. Since you're only going at the peak, I'm going to start at the peak. Make sure you can see, go into that stitch, go into the stitch next to it, both stitches, they're both lined up, pull through, and since I attached it again, and you're going to see, yeah, how it sticks a little bit, pull it, pull it, whoops, pull it, make sure you hold it off because it's attached to the yarn ball. Pull through and leave a good tail to sew it in. Hold that tail. Now on the other side, go into the next stitch. Go into the next stitch. One on the red side, one on the white. And pull through. Oops. Pull through. Make sure it's gonna get a little tangled there. Pull through. And you're gonna do that down the entire row till you get to the end and crochet in the ends. Okay. So after you get to the almost to the end, I'm on this side. You're gonna do it all the way to the end. So go into the last few stitches, pull your yarn in, that's kind of creepy, come on, pull through, let me open it up and see one more stitch, go into this one, the last one here, pull through, 
why it's always that little stitch there. And I just get, maybe do one more at the bottom here. Tighten it up a bit. Do both stitches. Tighten it up a bit. Oops. Come on. Alright, going. Sorry. And that's how it's going. You're going to have to push it out a bit. You might have to sit a um, book on it to make it flat, but it should flatten out itself. So, we've got two more red and two more white. So, since it's the red portion here, like I said, you can either cut your yarn off and start at the top, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can, if you have enough yarn, crochet along the bottom. But I'm going to cut mine because I don't, I don't like the way this feels. So I'm going to, scissors, a rather long tail. Tighten it, tie a knot. Make sure it's tight. If you want to be safe, you can tie two knots into it. I'm going to go in. Tie this knot. <laughs> it's the one I didn't sew in, sorry. I'm just going to tuck that in the back. But, I have that. Now I'm going to get another white, white portion white triangle and if they don't line up all the way because like I said if you're like me <laughs> you're gonna make a mistake here or there and it's alright but if they don't line up how you want it to either get a tinier um a tinier or a more even one, or simply stretch it out a bit and try to line each and every one of them up. And for this, for this side of it, there's going to be a part, if you set them up, move this, if you set them up, there's going to be one portion, one triangle, that's going to be a bit bigger than the other ones. Because if they were all the same size, it would scrunch up a bit. So one triangle is going to be a bit bigger than all the other ones. If it is, don't worry. We'll work past it. So, I'm going to take another part of mine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, take another part of mine. My white triangle. Line it up a bit, go into the peak, and I think by now you've gotten the hang of it, so after this one I'll leave you alone so you can do it on your own, or some of you probably skipped to this point, <laughs> but um, so you aren't, oh, see, I didn't hold it, that's what happens if you don't hold it, let's go in again, try that again. Don't do it so quickly this time. Pull it through. Come on. That's the part where I added one to it. Come on. There's the ending. Pull it slowly. 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 That's a good amount of yarn. Hold that. Go into the back portion. Back out here. Pull through. And you're going to do it down the entire row, trying to line them up together. If they don't, don't worry. You might have to go the same stitch and line them up as much as you can. Go along the bottom, go into the bottom part, the bottom corner, when you get to the bottom, you can either, 
crochet will sew along the bottom of the one you've joined and add on with your next triangle or you can leave a long tail cut off go back to the top like I've been doing and add on to your triangles but continue this until you have every triangle connected and I will see you back when I'm done alrighty then so I've gotten back around all of them so that's how it's gonna come together in the end but I've gotten back around looks a bit uh, like that but I'm gonna take my so you've attached whatever part you've attached you've attached this part to it so I'm gonna go over and finish Wait, wrong way, sorry. Yeah, make sure you do it the right way, or it's not gonna... That's that's what looks better, I had it the wrong way. That's how it's supposed to look. So take... You sewed on one side, now there's two sides that are still left open. Put those together, and sew those together. You start it from the bottom or the top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Start from the bottom of the top. Do as you've been doing. Stitch in or sew in around the sides. And I'll meet you back when you're done. Alrighty then. Now after you're done with your second side, this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to show you how to make the border. Because what we're going to do, instead of like my Deadpool pillow where you just join the sides together and you add the stuffing as it is. I don't think it would look right with that. So I'm going to add a border around it about that thick to connect both sides together. But this is what it's going to look like. You can put your, you have to make two of these, make sure it lines up. And this is what they're both going to look like. This is my finished one. Now before we go on, I want you to sew in your loose ends, and you can do it in the back because nobody's gonna see the back, it's gonna be stuffed into the pillow. So glue in your sides, and I will show you how to make the border. Okay, now after you finish your triangles and you join them together, there is a circle in the very middle of the top part of the pillow. Now, I already filled in this one with a tiny little circle, and you're going to sew the circle into the um, side. But I'm going to show you how to make the circle. And it's just a tiny circle. You'll be using your black yarn and your 6 millimeter hook. So, what happened there? Just cut that off. So, what you're going to do for... A tiny circle. So you're going to make a magic circle. Keep the yarn, leave the yarn hanging, attached to the yarn ball. Take your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, chain one, and you are going to do 12 single crochet into the magic circle. So, oops, wrong. So that is one. This is two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oops. Ten. Eleven. Come on. Eleven. And twelve. Now what you're going to do, you're going to pull your, um, pull your string 
pull it tight so it tightens the circle. It's a tiny little circle. You're gonna slip stitch. <clears throat> excuse me. You're gonna slip stitch into the top stitch here. I know it's hard to see, but slip stitch in the top stitch. Top stitch. Come on. Come on. There we are. And that is round one. Okay. Now for round two, and it only takes a little, but you can go throughout it and um, see if it's big enough to fit into the circle. Well, you're going to chain one, and you are going to go into the first stitch and do a single crochet. You're going to go into the next stitch and do an increase. An increase, you just do the same stitch and the same thing in the same exact stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet into that stitch, go into the next stitch and do one single crochet. And you're going to go into the next stitch and do an increase or two single crochet. And you're going to repeat this pattern until you get back to the end. Okay, now after you are done, you're going to slip stitch. You end in an increase and you're going to slip stitch in the top stitch. Let me make sure you can see that. Slip stitch into the top stitch here. And you're going to chain one. Now, one, and you're going to go into the next two stitches and do a single crochet. So go into the next stitch. That's one single crochet. Go into the next stitch. That's one single crochet. And in the next stitch after that, you're going to do an increase or two single crochet. And then after that, in the next two stitches, you're going to do a single crochet. So that's the first stitch. This is the second stitch. And in the next stitch, you're going to do an increase. And you're going to you're going to repeat this pattern until you get back around to the beginning. Okay, now after you're done, and you end on an increase, you're going to go into the top stitch top stitch there, and you are going to slip stitch to the top stitch, and that is it. Now you're going to chain one and cut your yarn, oh I should have left a longer tail, but leave a longer tail so you'll, because you're going to have to sew it into the side. Alright, now you're going to attach your yarn to your needle. Make sure I do this right. I just timeline. It might be a better way to do that, but I just timeline and cut it off. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your side, take your side, make sure it's on the, the right side, take your side and what you're going to do, get my yarn around here, you're going to stick it in the middle. Now if it fits, when you sew it together, it's going to form together, so don't worry about it sitting directly, hope you can see this, don't worry about it sitting directly on top of the circle because when you sew it in it's going to come together so just pick anywhere that you want let me cut this a little bit shorter so pick where you want it to go and you are going you should probably start where the yarn connects to it so i want to make sure you can see this just pick up a tiny part of 
the pillow side, go in to a side on the pillow, and go in to a stitch in the circle. So one's here, and one's inside the circle. And pull it so that it can connect to it. Okay. Now you're going to go into a stitch. And you're going to have to go around the side of the um pillow and inside of the circle. Now since there are more stitches around the um pillow around the pillow ring instead of the circle, you'll have to go into the same stitch a few times. So, and so around until you get back to where you started from. Let me tilt this down a little bit. So you can see. See, that's where I tied mine. You're gonna have to pull it more, yeah. Let's see the next stitch here. Stitch here, go into one in the circle. See how it's sort of joining together now? And you're gonna keep doing that until you get back to the beginning. Alright, so after you're done with your circle, and that's what it looks like, you can't really see it, but it's sewn in. You are going to take, since my yarn is at this end, I'm just going to stick it through my circle anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Excuse me, but don't try to do it across the thing, because when you push it in, you might be able to see the yarn overlapping. So just stick it in nearby where it's sticking out of. You can do, <clears throat> excuse me. What you can do for the back, since you're not going to see, after you pull it out through the back and you you don't want it to come unraveled, you can always, you can go through the, go into the white or the red, but I prefer to um go through the black and just sew through just the back portions of it, sew up the back of it to make it, if you don't want to leave your yarn in the middle of that. I'm just going to sew it up a little bit more. But you can sew it <clears throat> up anywhere you like. I'll just sew it in the back because I like to make it look uniform, even though you can't really see it. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to sew in this part and I will be back to show you how to join them all together. Alrighty, now after you have done both of your sides, you are going to take your red yarn. Now the red yarn is going to be used for the border of the, um, not really the border, but it's gonna, it's gonna be used to connect both sides of the um pillow wrong way sorry so what you're gonna do you can use um black white or um red yarn for the border if you want Alrighty, now for the border part of the um pillow you are going to start at any point on your side that you want to and you're only going to be doing one row of one double crochet in every stitch and you can either use white yarn for this black yarn or red I'm going to be using black and you're going to start out from whatever nook in the triangles just remember that when you go back around you're going to have to slip stitch in the same part so remember which um, part you went into 
they're going to turn it this way because the border is going to be facing in this way. And I'm going to pick this side of it. So I'm going to get my yarn. Make a slip knot. Attach it to the trim end. I'm going to go into I'm going to go into the stitch, the stitch here, because it just it's the start of this little crook here. Oops. I'm going to pull this. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. Do a oops. Do a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain. Two, and I'm going to double crochet in every stitch around and make sure when you get to these part this part of um, your triangles that you go down into the stitches because if you just go across it's going to be a space here and your stuffing will probably come out of that part so here when I come back around put a double crochet in the middle, all the crooks, every stitch is individual, but in the middle make sure you put one as well, so you can have, um, so there are no spots left on your, um, pillow side. So do one double crochet around the entire side, and I'll meet you back when you're done. Now that I've double crocheted, around the entire thing and this is what it's going to look like around my, I'll just show you, around my entire thing and I crocheted, double crocheted in this stitch here, that's this stitch and at the very top stitch here you are going to do a slip stitch and that is your border, chain one and that is your border and what you're going to do is, your border is going to go in like this. It's going to be bent in this way. But you are going to attach your top part of the... You're going to attach your top part of the um, pillow to the border. So, when you were going to do this, you can either do this, it's easier to do it with your needle. This needle. So I'm going to cut off my yarn. So, I'm going to cut off my yarn, cut a tail, so I can sew it in. I'm going to pull that, and that is your thing. Now, you can either make sure you line them up properly. Don't line it up to the border, line it up to the triangle, because you don't want to have them in the wrong places and the ones in red. Make sure the white triangles with the white triangles and the red triangles with the red triangles and you're going to use your needle and you are going well, let me show you. you can do this you do this with your six millimeter hook so Now after you have finished your border, this is what's, what it's going to look like, you're going to slip stitch, slip stitch into the top stitch, chain one, and what you're going to do, the border, excuse me, the border that you just made is going to go in like this. It's going to pull inward, so this way, and don't worry about it crinkling, once you put your stuffing in, it'll, ex 
expand a bit more, but it's going to go up like this. It's going to go inwards. And what you're going to have to do, and this may take some time, is you're going to put your top part of the pillow, make sure you can see this, put your top part of the pillow on top of your second part, and you are going to crochet or single crochet the top portion of the pillow into your border. Let me show you what I mean. Make sure that your triangles match up. See my white triangle is here and my second white triangle is here. You don't want to have a red triangle on top of a white one because then it won't, it won't look right. Make sure your triangles are lined up correctly and you are going to attach your top part to this tiny little border here. So I'm going to show you. This is where I started. I'm going to take the top part, and it does, it's easier just to hold them together. I take my top part like this. I'm sure you can see it. My yarn is here. This is my stitch. This is my second part. I'm going to go into this stitch here. The stitch right across from it. So that's one position. Let's go into this one. Stitch right across from it. Go through, wrap around, pull through, pull through. You're going to single, you're going to do a slip stitch around it. Make sure it lines up. I'm going to go into the next stitch. Make sure they line up. Go into this stitch. This stitch and this stitch. Yarn over. And do a slip stitch. Make sure it's staying together. And you're going to do this around the entire thing. The next stitch here, my next black stitch here, I'm going to go into a stitch right across from it on the other side of the pillow. I'm going to wrap around, pull through, pull through. And you're going to do this around the entire row. Make sure you have enough. You're going to do this around the entire row. Make sure you have enough yarn to go around it. And make sure that you're keeping your triangles in the right spots. And I'll see you back when it's done so we can add this stuff in. Make sure you leave a tiny gap about halfway, halfway around, probably when you get to about halfway mark and leave a good bit open so that you can stuff, put your stuffing in. Make sure you leave a tiny hole so that you can add your stuffing and I'll meet you back when I'm done. Alrighty, now after you have attached them and this is what it's going to, um, still kind of, let me move my thing back so you can see a bit more. That's what it's going to look like. Now, I, leave a, I, left, I left a tiny little flap here where I'm going to stuff my yarn. And I'm going to put it back so you can see what it looks like. You're going to take your stuffing and start, whoops, don't stuff your needle. And start stuffing your pillow. Now, I'm going to pull the stitch out a bit so that it won't... Um, it won't come undone. I'm going to get my stuffing. Start stuffing it in. Oh, it's a lot. Hold on. <laughs> Stuff it. It looks like a little pie. <laughs> Alright, keep stuffing it. Let's push this farther away so you can see it a bit more. Stuffing it. Yeah, 
I'll do it this way. You see the border of it? Once you stuff it, it'll fill out. But keep stuffing. A lot of stuffing yarn. My first ever um, pillow that I did, um, I had green stuffing. And it looked a bit odd because I had... Usually stuffing isn't green. It's uh, white. So getting a li little bit more stuffing here. And stuff it how, how, however plush you want it, however how thin you want it, it's all up to you. I'm going to stuff mine really, um, really tight. Because I like my pillows really fluffy. Plus pluff, pluffy, plushy? Yeah. Whatever word you choose. <laughs> so. You're going to keep stuffing your pillow. Keep stuffing your pillow no matter how, how tightly, how, um, how, um, thin or tight you want it. And when you have the desired amount of pillow stuffing, pillow stuffing that you want, you are going to continue to seal your um, pillow. And I will keep stuffing mine, finish stuffing mine, and seal mine, and I will show you, I will come back and show you the final product. And this is the final product. You might have to squish it down a bit to make it um, a bit more flat if you want it to be. But, um, this is the Umbrella Corporation logo for Resident Evil 5, and I'll see you soon. Bye.